So the highly anticipated miniseries Masters of the Air takes flight this Friday. So it chronicles the story of the U.S. 8th Air Force 100th Bomb Group. Take a look. The 8th will be sent in off the largest air armada ever assembled in the history of mankind. Straight into Hitler's territory. And in complete and total air superiority. That's the mission. What? You might be the last pretty face I ever see. Okay, joining mm. us from the cast this morning are actors Anthony Boyle and Nate Mann. So good to see both of you. Welcome. You. Thanks very much. This is intense, huh? Yeah. I mean, look I'm at excited. these names. Tom Hanks, Steven Spielberg, Gary Getzman behind this show, right? They also produced Band of Brothers, so they are well known in this kind of universe. When you hear names like that and you get cast in a show like that, what goes through your head immediately? God, it feels good. <laughs> it does feel good, you know. So I'm doing a show with Steven Spielberg. Have, yeah. you, have you heard of it? Wow. It's, it's a good feeling, you know. It's good to open with that in a bar. Yeah, um, yeah it's great. You know, when we first when we first got cast, I just couldn't believe it. I was so thrilled. Yeah. You know, to, I'd seen Band of Brothers, mm -hmm. I'd seen The Pacific, I'd yeah. seen everything Steven Spielberg's done, everything Tom Hanks has done. Mm -hmm. So to be a part of the third continuation of the story was just a real pinch me moment. You know? Yeah. yeah. What about you? Yeah, I mean, I also we watched Band of Brothers as a kid. We had the DVD yes. box set. I think it was like the first TV show I watched in its entirety as a kid, and then I watched The Pacific stayed up on Friday nights or whenever right. it came out. Uh, and then when I heard that this was this was coming out and it was going to be in the air, I couldn't wait. I mean, wait, just, remember box DVD sets? Right. Oh yeah. And this one was cool. Back. It was in like a tin, like a green <laughs> gray, like military. <laughs> gray. Oh, and then it was good. I mean, just looking at that clip from from the series, it's so intense. Tell me a little bit about what went into making this series, especially since so many people, especially those who were involved, are so passionate mm. about this topic. They are. I mean, from the, sort of the top down. I mean, Stephen and Tom, they care so much about about this world, about these men, about you know about this place and I mean right down to the details right I mean mm -hmm. we, we were in replica cockpits we were all all the costumes were, were designed to be as accurate as possible we spent hours and hours you know we, we each played Anthony plays a, a navigator I play a pilot mm -hmm. we really tried to figure out you know how everything worked how these cages worked how these switches worked yeah. so when we're shooting these scenes it, it, it's as lifelike as possible can wow. we get a plane with you now uh, no, you cry. I would. I would, I would, I would. That, that would yeah. be flying no, anyway. Maybe Nid. No. He looked very good when he was flying. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's not just about World War II, too, and life in the air. It's really taking you on this like personal journey, too, of your lives mm -hmm. on the mm -hmm. ground. And yeah. we saw that there were some, some women involved and some possible love stories. Uh -huh. So talk to us a little bit about the evolution over the course of the episodes. Well, I feel like what's so good about it is I think it starts off very action-packed, and it brings you into these like amazing spectacles. It feels like a big Hollywood film. And then you really get in as the series goes on to like the interpersonal aspects of these people's mm -hmm. lives, mm -hmm. you know, the mental toll. We really go deep into what was happening for these people, mm -hmm. and uh, it's really yeah. exciting. What are your personal stories in the show? You don't have to tell me your personal stories. In life, life. Well, well, no, 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 we can tell me that. We don't <laughs> have all day. So tell me about your, <laughs> no, yeah, <laughs> your, your story. I mean, you know, we, we all play real people in, the, in this yeah. series, you know, real men. I mean, the series is based on a book by Donald Miller by the same name. And uh, I play a guy called Robert Rosenthal, grew up in Brooklyn um, and became a, a, a lawyer and enlisted right after Pearl Harbor. Um, and saw, uh, you know, spent months and months training gunners, you know, as a pilot mm -hmm. in, in the States before he ever saw action. And when we meet him in the series, not quite halfway through, um, you know, he doesn't quite know what he's in for, and some mm -hmm. of his some of his first missions uh, uh, are, you know, extremely devastating. So, wow. yeah. And I play Harry Crosby, who's not only battling the Nazis, but he's battling air sickness, mm -hmm. which is, Whoa. you know, there's, there's, a, there's a lot going on for Crosby <laughs> yeah. when we first meet him, um, and he was just an absolute joy to play. Mm -hmm. He seems. He, I, I, I saw a video of him when he was like 70 before I started to do the research of him. And even at that age, he had such like a childlike beauty to him. Mm -hmm. He had such like a wonder in his eyes. And I thought, I'd love to, to have the opportunity to spend a year with this guy, yeah. which is how long it took the film. Yeah. Wow. By the way, what was the, what the, the uh, Blue Angels here? They're the guys that do the tricks around here. We, they sometimes take journalists up years ago. Air sickness is a thing. Oh, really? A you real had a thing. thing. Wait, did you get taken up in one yeah. of the planes? Oh, yeah. And did, oh, yeah. did you throw up? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel yeah. your pain. I, feel your pain. <laughs> I was doing it for a year. I feel your pain, man. Oh, yeah. So for, so for the boot camp, right, to, uh -huh. to kind of not besides just understanding the, 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 
the linguistics and, the, and how all the tools work in an actual flight, what are some of the things you had to go through physically to kind of prepare? I mean, there was a, a legendary military mm. advisor, a guy called Dale Dye, who worked mm -hmm. on Saving Private Ryan and, and oh, yeah. Brothers in the Pacific. And uh, he took us through, you know, our first couple of days he spent, you know, we were all in uniform calling each other by our, our character <laughs> names. And he took us through marching sequences. We we're all marching, wow. you know, mm -hmm. trying to figure out, you know, the rank and file of what life was like for these guys on the base. And, you know, when we first started out, it was pretty clunky and we mm -hmm. couldn't quite get it right. And by the end of it, he was just trying to get us into a rhythm, right, to, mm -hmm. to, to see, you know, what, uh, to, for us to feel what it was like to be a unit, mm -hmm. right? Because when they're up in the air, you know, they, they're, they're, that's what they're doing is relying on one another to, yeah. to make it through every mission. Also, like a normal rehearsal process is you're sat down with a coffee talking about your character. And Dale Dye would come in and he'd be like saying, you know, get down and give me 20, maggot. Then you'd be down, <laughs> you're going, Jesus Christ, this is, <laughs> this yeah. is pretty taxing, you know. Oh it was like a, a quite an intense rehearsal process that, like, I'd never been... I'd never been involved in anything like that before. Yeah, I mean, wow. did you ever get lost in the whole thing? I mean, like, oh, it, it almost seemed real to you? Yeah, as much as possible, I think that's what we were trying to do. Try and just, like, you know, call each other by our character names. You know, we would get on our uniforms every day. Wow. You know, it was just, we were trying to immerse ourselves in that life as much as possible. Yeah. And I feel like it pays off. When you see the show, it really does, it really looks good. Mm -hmm. mm. So what do you do now when you wake up in the morning? Are you in his ears yelling at him to drop and give you 20? <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah exactly. I call him every morning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, every single morning, man. Yeah. Well, it looks phenomenal. I'm so excited to see yes. it. Yes. Thank you. Thank Love you so this much. kind of stuff. So Great. All right.